Hello, welcome back to the Mark Gernard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to cover a story from 2011 involving Anonymous who hacked Sony, right? Even though this is an old story, I think it's uh, value to revisit this story so we can gain some education off of it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So in the course of, the, of its investigation into the PlayStation Network security breach, Sony discovered a file that makes a clear reference to the anonymous hacking group. In a letter to the U.S. House of Representatives on Wednesday of that time, right, Sony said in a file uh, named Anonymous containing the words, We are Legion, was left behind by the intruders who gained access to the service of Sony Online Entertainment. We are Legion is the regular tagline used by Anonymous. Sony Online Entertainment, or SOE, is the company's game development and distribution arm. The intruders in the SOE breach compromised information on 24.6 million users as well as 20,000 credit card and bank account numbers. Sony discovered the SOE breach on Sunday while investigating an earlier attack that compromised information on 77 million accounts from Sony's PlayStation Network and the Cross City services in April. Anonymous has not been linked to the PlayStation Network breach, the first one detected. However, Sony noted that both breaches took place in the same time frame, which also corresponded with a denial of service campaign launched by Anonymous in retaliation for Sony's lawsuit against PlayStation tinkerer George Hotz. Members of the House Committee on Energy and Commerce held a hearing Wednesday to address the subject of data theft and its potential impact on consumers. Sony uh, Computer Entertainment CEO Kaz did not attend but sent written responses to the House Subcommittee on Commerce, Manufacturing and Trade. Sony summarized the content of the letter on its official PlayStation blog saying that it had suffered a very carefully planned, very professional, highly sophisticated uh, criminal cyber attack. Sony said it knew how the intrusion was accomplished, but not who was responsible. Photocopies of the letter were also made available. The letter details the company's actions over the past two weeks and says Sony acted with care and caution while deciding how to act when to inform companies on the security breach. On the afternoon of April 20, Sony first discovered evidence of an unauthorized intrusion, the company said in the letter. It then took down the PlayStation Network servers. Over the next five days, the company hired multiple security firms and forensic teams to determine the scope of the breach on April, 2020, um, on April 25 of that year, 2011. Sony found that hackers could have obtained personal information for 77 million PSN accounts and it informed customers of the breach the following day. Sony did not inform customers prior to April 26 because it didn't, it didn't want to cause confusion and lead customers to take unnecessary actions, the company said. Major credit card companies have st still have not reported any fraud that they believe is directly related to the attack. Sony said, adding that 12.3 million customers have credit card information stored on the PlayStation Network, including 5.6 million in the United States. Sony says those credit card numbers were stored encrypted, right? Sony added on Monday that its Sony Online Entertainment Services had also been affected by the hack and that hackers may have obtained personal information for its 24.6 million users. As of Wednesday, the companies, Facebook and other online game services have not been taken back online. Sony said it's, it plans to bring some of PlayStation Network services back up this week. As a goodwill gesture, customers will receive 30 free days of PlayStation Plus as well as a variety of free downloads. Oh, okay. So at that time, you thought that you can just take all my stuff and then give me 30 days? That, 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 that's the... That's the that that's what you thought was fair for, for, for the people who were affected, Sony? I see you. I feel you. Unfair. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think about this old story from a cybersecurity perspective, from a IT posture perspective? Uh, I, think, I think there are very lessons learned to be taken from this. Uh, but I want to know your opinion. Please let me know. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you in the next video.